Hello and good weekend to you my friends. So today we have two more new dragons to hatch which is going to mark dragon number 600 in our codex collection but just before we get onto that we do have the upcoming event schedule for the new week revealed and don't forget next week we can get ancient tickets inside the dungeon once again so you're going to be wanting to grind the dungeon again if you want that ancient chest dragon. Along with that we're also getting the new Dragon Master Pass and a Blitz breeding event for Historical is coming and we've got weekend events that hopefully will give us some bonus goodies. Aside from that we've got the Great Dragon Race as the clan event and inside the dungeon you can get the Jade Warrior Dragon and the Ghost Dragon is going to be inside the shop. And like I said, to breed historical, you need to breed together Rock and Punwin. In the dinner time event, there is the Red Flower. And in the Golden Gather is the Xylophone. And of course, to coincide with the Breeding Blitz, the Dragon of the Week is going to be the Rock Dragon, which you can breed with Lava and Eel. So that's pretty much everything that you need to know. That's all of next week's scheduling stuff. So main thing, Ancient Dungeon coming next week weekend events coming with extra stuff so keep all of that in mind but anyway let us hatch dragon number 600 in our codex collection which one should it be should we make it mr caterpillar because he was an old favorite and he is a very wonderful beautiful little boy so let's go ahead and hatch him he is only an epic but i will take it i will take little caterpillar as my 600th unique on this account Look at him go! Of course we did get this dragon from the current solo event that's going on because you can get him and you can get some leaf stones out of it but 600 dragon hoarder badge. Lovely. I'm not going to apply this because I've got the MVP badge on my account but I'll take it. I'll take it and add it to my pointless badge collection. So here we have little baby Kyle who has a ginormous, enormous head. I love it. Little baby Kyle. I did want Caterpillar a long time ago, but the last couple of times he's come around in events, um, he was in a, what was it, a boss challenge at one point, but I was just not really around enough for it. I think it was a boss challenge. I don't remember. Whatever he was in last time, anyway, I wasn't really around to get him. So finally, when he has returned once again, we finally added him to our collection. He just looks like he's wearing a gigantic costume over his, like, snake body. He looks like a snake in disguise. Seriously, am I the only one that thinks that? Just a snake in disguise. I mean, I guess that's kind of what caterpillars are anyway, but... You know. Very fluorescent, neon-y looking dragon as well. He definitely stands out among these other dragons in there. So, if we ever need to find him, it should be easy to find him again. But that's number 600. We do also have a second dragon here. And this is the Tiger Dragon from the current ancient event Milestone Pass. So Tiger, again, he is one that we only get for getting that Leafstone Shrine. But, you know, we get him a couple more dragons breeding a token for Pixie Dot we're going to be getting soon enough as well. But we do have Mr. Tiger here now. So the fascinating tiger dragon's body is the perfect biome of a snowy forest. Even in hot weather, one can feel icy flurries whipping about its head and cold air rustling its trees. How bracing. Isn't that just lovely? Isn't that lovely? Actually, did I even read the caterpillar dragon's um, description? Am I going insane? Did I, did I ever read it? Where did I even put him? I've already lost him. <laughs> no. Anyway, I don't think I did read this. For Caterpillar, we've got an eating machine. The Caterpillar dragon likes to gobble up all the fruit when no one is looking. If the other dragons get angry, it will run to its best friend, the ant dragon, for protection. I did not know that bit of lore. I did not know that Caterpillar and ant were basically best buds. So I'm happy I went back and read that. Anyway, come back to little Mark the Tiger. Of course, he's also an epic with metal, plant, and shadow. But... You know, I guess he sort of fits in with the theme because we're sort of doing ancient event progress in the middle of a jungle. So it makes sense that we have tiger in there. You know, I guess it is weird the fact that we've got two tigers now. But this tiger is obviously not a tiger tiger. 
This is a tiger. Tiger. Yeah. You get what I mean? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Hope it makes sense. Either way, I do like his design. He looks more like a rustic dragon, like an old school dragon dragon, rather than a, you know, any of the crazy dragons like Caterpillar, who's just a fluorescent insect. He looks like a, definitely an elemental dragon, and I do like it. He looks like he'd um, spawn trees as his attacking mechanism or something. I don't know. That's what I see anyway, but... Those are my two new dragons that I wanted to add to our game. Of course, because it's Friday, we do have weekend events that are going to give us bonus leaf stones. So we've got gather as much food as you can. And we've also got spend as much gold as you can, which is the VIP event, which we will do in a second. Since it is Friday, we do also have new black market deals. One really good one is for relics of hatching in exchange for portal gems, super good. And 500 stepping stones in exchange for 500,000 gold, super good. There are also pieces for revelry if you missed out on the dragon. Of course, we've got premium sigil chests, which I might buy one of. Ancient mats and tickets, which aren't really worth it. I'm going to buy a single premium sigil chest because this is what I normally do on a Friday, just buy one of them. What do we get? One rat. Oh, we did get one rare. It's a cruelty, so it could have been better, but we did at least get a rare and we did get a wonder, a purity, uncommon, so better than it could have been. Even though it was not ideal, I will still take that and accept it for what it is. So, we obviously need to be collecting gold and the other one was for spending gold and if you ever need a really easy way to spend gold, either Dragon Vault or the Golden Hatchlings are normally my go-to. But we do that, we get an extra slot, we get all the leaf stones, that's easy peasy lemon squeezy for those. Gathering as much food as you can. This one, obviously, if you are farming a lot, that's going to be nice and easy. You also can get a lot from obviously doing map battles, like if you do the blue map battles, you're going to end up getting a lot of extra food, especially if you do the heroic mode fights. So that's how I get these easily done and dusted. Of course, I've got instant win tickets myself, which makes it even easier, but you don't need them. You, you should have enough energy to just be able to finish all of this off, get all the bonus leaf stones, and then you can use those to help you in the ancient event. So there we go, leaf stones, and then we've only got another 4 million to collect, and then we get 800 more leaf stonies, so we'll do that over the weekend. But coming back to Dragon Board, of course we are going to have that ancient dungeon next week, and then we will have a catch-up dungeon after that, I believe. So your chances of getting the chest ancient and such they're not done. They're very, very far from done at this point. But regarding the ancient event itself, I still need to get pieces of jade. So that means that I'm going to have to be doing all of the bingos. And of course, we want to be hitting those purple tiles so that we can get pieces for Pune Win. Because Pune Win is our little baby at the moment who we just really desperately want. Can we just hit something nice on these? I don't want double fives. I want... I want not double fives, please. I can work with a six. If we work with a six, then we hit any of the others like that. That works out. But, you know, sometimes whatever you pick with these dragon dice events is just not going to work out. So, you know, don't be too upset about it if you have to re-roll a little bit. Again, this is if you're going for Pune Win still. Some people have given up on Pune Win at this point, which, um, you know... I understand. I understand why some people may have just stopped playing this event because I'm still not Mr. Reset and hopefully going into next week we still won't miss one. But, you know, anything can happen. <laughs> anything can happen. You know, lots of people have been hit with lots of power outages, etc, etc, depending on where you are recently. It's like everything's just sort of imploding at the beginning of this year. But... You know, hopefully that sort of starts to die down and maybe if you did end up missing a couple of resets or a few more because of, I don't know, outside influences that you couldn't really help, I do hope that you can still end up finishing off the rest of the stuff in the event because it sucks when it's one of those things where completely outside of your control there is nothing that you could have done about it. 
that's when it feels the worst. It's just like, why, nature? Why have you done this to me? I don't want twos, please. And now I get a four. No, I want a three. Because we need a three, four, or a six, which means I need a three. I don't I don't need a I don't need anything else. I need a three. There we go. I was going to get stroppy if I kept having to refresh for that one, but at the moment we're nearly at 200 uh, chests opened and we're getting closer and closer to the pieces for Pinwin. But, you know, if the game randomly gives me another 150, we'll pretty much be done. So, it can also do that. And if the game does want to give me another 150, then that means that we don't have to worry about Pinwin. We don't have to worry about hitting purple tiles, we can go for yellows, and then I'll probably go straight for just double troubles at that point. Obviously, the sooner you get the Ancients, the better off you are going to be, because you don't have to worry about them. So, you know, I just, I just want to get it over and done with, everything sorted out, and just be over with this event. I don't want to have to worry about it anymore. I just want it to be over and done with, dustied and finished. But for Orange Wing, we are almost 50 pieces off now, so we should be getting Orange Wing in the next sort of week also. We'll see though. We'll see. Another six. Can we can we land on one of those purples with a six? There we go, that's what I wanted. <laughs> if we can land on one of these other purples with a six, then we don't really have to worry about hitting this purple, and then we don't have to we don't always have to worry about hitting the green, but in this case we still do want to hit the green tile. So maybe we didn't really need to refresh for that, but what do we need? We still need to hit a 6 on this green, but we won't gain anything, so I'd rather hit a 4 if we can. So if we can land on that blue instead, um, that would mean if we could hit a 6, or if we could hit 2, 2, and then a 2 and a 4, then that'll do us here. Uh, there's lots of possibilities and you've got to rely on RNG being in your favour and very rarely is RNG truly in your favour. I Actually, should I have hit that? Two, three, four. Ah, oh, screw it. I, I don't trust this game. Let's just hit the six now. Technically, this is not the most ideal, but at least we can get one of those out of the way and we'll just go for the four on the next one because... I, I felt like if I kept sitting there re-rolling, the game was just not going to be helpful. <laughs> I just got this inkling that the game was just going to go, nope. You know what I mean? You ever get that feeling where you're like, no, no, I think the game's going to screw me over right here. Like, how you keep giving me fours when I don't want fours. <laughs> just one of those things. But, of course, I don't want to use all of my... Leaf stones because we are going to have a new reset, which means we are going to have a, a what's it called? We are going to have a new six quest, but I just sort of wanted to get this done while I was here at the time. So there we go. If we land on that one, then we'll be four away again. So there we use this four, and then we hit this four, and there we go. Lovely. Hit that four. Give me that diagonal. That's all I really care about. Technically. I don't really need the remaining five because the only other bonus is five pieces of Pune win and well we get the 200 loose stones back so I don't really need that I just want to make sure I've got the pieces for Jade so now I'll get that five randomly when I'm doing my other quests so that's where I'm going to leave it in terms of dragon board for now so we're getting there we're getting there slowly but surely. I guess we've also got sigil fights to do, so let's go and do those because they'll take all of about 12 seconds. You know, all of this sigil stuff, it's just every single fight is the same thing. The enemies don't destroy me and I one-shot all of the enemies pretty much all the time. The only exception to that is when we come across the bosses that have Purity Daredevil. Then they can one-shot one of my dragons, but outside of that, this is just, it's just one, one shot central. Except if you're trying to get a high score in the sigil contest, but if you want a high score in the sigil contest, you'd be gemming anyway, and I'm not going to gem this. So, I don't care. So the best way to get it is actually to um, spam out lots of attacks from what I know. 
But again, I'm not willing to gem through just to get bonus score, so we're not going to do it. Oh, you missed as well, Sandshade. Oh, sucks to suck, doesn't it? Oh, no. Feels bad for little old Sandshade over here. But anyway, we got two chests to open. What do you give me? One green. Could have been worse. 69 trinkets. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are now on the next section of the map, so this is where we should see an increase in dragon difficulty, because before this, you know, we, we were seeing legendaries, and we just started seeing legendary plus uncommon, and it looks like we're still on uncommon, but who knows, maybe later on in this map we might start coming across epic legendaries, I hope not, but we're going to be facing... Um, Chrono Chronos and a few other dragons and then the final boss is of course going to be Briar So let's hope he doesn't have burnout. Oh no, what if he has burnout? Oh no <laughs> I've just scared myself a little bit. Let's hope that that doesn't happen But that is the sigil stuff going on as well aside from that again all that we really need to do is prepare for the the what's and who has Why did I just accept that quest? I didn't want that quest. Oh, whatever. But next week, we've got the new ancient dungeon to watch out for. Someone's ap applied. Fine. Yes, there you go. You've been accepted to the clan, whoever you are. But next week, we do have that new ancient dungeon. So just like in the first week, we are going to be grinding out dungeon. I don't think bottomless, endless dungeon is going to be possible anymore. But... We will still be able to get pieces, so will we get the remaining 107 pieces that we need for Yoska? That will depend on uh, uh, chess luck opening, I suppose, but we'll, we'll go for it. We'll see how we do next week, and then we've still got Bottomless Dungeon if we get super desperate. But, you know, ancient event, one week left technically, well, nine days and 19 hours for Dragon Board, and then... Obviously, all of the hatching event completions. And um, we've got to get Ox before then. Ox on big box. But, uh, anyhow. That is all the new stuff. And again, if you want to check out all of the upcoming events for the new week, you can check out the forum thread yourself. But, aside from the new ancient dungeon, there's not really a whole lot else happening, to be honest. Which is probably going to be a good thing. Because the, the, the ancient dungeon is going to be making up for all of that chill time that people would have been doing otherwise. So, for now, I appreciate you being here and seeing my 600th hatching. And until next time, I do hope that I can see you again. <laughs>